behalf of my colleagues at the East Devon Respiratory Research Group, I'd like to present the results of a study looking at techniques to reduce anxiety in people with breathlessness. We know that when people with COPD have an exacerbation, the breathlessness can be very frightening. We've been interested in whether patients with exacerbations of COPD could be taught relaxation techniques that would help them cope with breathlessness at these times. This study is part of an ongoing project investigating this and was to look at the acceptability of different relaxation techniques to patients with COPD. We showed patients six video clips of different relaxation techniques. The clips were shown in random order to prevent bias and patients were asked their views on the acceptability of the technique and whether they thought that they would be able to practice it. Each individual technique was scored on a scale of 1 to 10 and patients were then asked to rank the techniques from 1 to 6. Here are a couple of extracts from the videos showing the instructions for the different techniques. Imagine that you're somewhere which is very relaxing. Somewhere you've been before which you find very relaxing and comfortable. A place which makes you feel happy. It might be in the countryside. It might be at the seaside. Just think about a memory. A memory that you can take from your own personal past where you were happy in a particular situation. So think about that now. Think of your memory, then close your eyes, bring it up, and imagine it. In this technique, you focus on different parts of the body and you concentrate on relaxing that part of the body. So begin to start by focusing on your right hand. Just try closing your eyes for a minute and focus on your right hand. Just feel your right hand getting very heavy, very heavy and relaxed. And now, finally, I want you to imagine your head sinking back into the chair. Just imagine your head feeling very, very relaxed. Now, this technique is something you can do by yourself without me giving you the instructions. 20 patients took part in the study. They differed in their preferred relaxation technique and the reasons for that preference. But the most commonly preferred technique for both effectiveness and ease of use was thinking of a nice place. This was followed fairly closely by progressive relaxation and counting. This study suggests that there is no single technique that is suitable for all patients, but actually offering a choice of two or three techniques that can be simply learned may be the best way of encouraging patients to use these techniques at home.